Hello, boys and girls. Our lesson today is about persons and the difference between persons, fractions, and decimals. Fractions, decimals, and percents. Fractions, decimals, and percents are different ways of representing the same number. I can represent half as a fraction, as a decimal, 0 0.5, and 50% as a percent. So I can show my number using three different ways, fraction, decimal, and percent. These numbers look different, but they all have the same exact value. Because we use fractions, decimals, and percents in everyday life, it's helpful if we can juggle or change between each form, making these numbers easier to understand. I understand that one fourth pound of cheesy bacon burger is good. I don't understand how I got a 25% on the last math test. Hopefully you just had an off day. When do we use fractions? Cooking recipes, two-third cups of flour, telling time, quarter after four, measuring length five and one-eighth, reading music, half note. Can we think of other ways we use fractions? When do we use decimals? Prices, sports, gas amounts, pie, we else, where else do we see decimals? Think. When do we use percents? 25%. Thanks for reminding me. Grades. Retail sales. 60% off. Tipping grades. 15% to 20%. Statistics. 100% of students choose shorter school days. Where else do we find percentage, per percentages? So this is, guys, an introduction to know the difference between fractions, decimals, and percents, and where do we find them in our real life? Of course, we can change fractions to decimals, decimals to fractions, and percents. Focusing on fractions, a fraction is formed by two numbers, a top number that is called a numerator over a bottom number, which is called the denominator. Numerator, denominator, three-fourths, or part of whole, this is called a fraction. Proper fraction like this one represent numbers less than one. Decimals are related to fractions because they also represent the number that is less than one. So they are bo both are the same amount. They should represent the same amount, but in different ways. Does anyone know how to turn a fraction into a decimal? You said by dividing the numerator by the denominator, you are right, of course. But how does, does this give a decimal? Take this out. Fractions to decimals. Let us use 3 fourths as an example. We are going to divide 3 by 4. Uh, the numerator by the denominator. You will get... Of course, the 3 is less than 4. I'm going to add a decimal point and a 0 and start dividing. I will start with 0 0.30 divided by 4 is 7. 7 times 4 is 28. Subtract, you will get 2. And attach a 0 and divide again until you have no remainder. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So 3 fourths is equal to 75 hundredths. This is how I change fractions to decimals. So you can think of the fraction bar as a division symbol. So remember, whenever you have a fraction and you want to convert it to a decimal, you just divide the numerator by the denominator this way, and this way you can get the decimal. Can someone guess what the decimal form of 3 and 3 fourths would it be? If you said 3.75, you are right. Notice how the whole number stays the same in both forms. Let's change 5 2 thirds into a decimal. Divide the numerator by the denominator. 
who is less than five, three, so I'm going to attach a zero at the decimal point. Start with zero decimal point. Make sure that you put the decimal point directly on the top in the quotient uh, above the dividend. 20 divided by three is six. Multiply, you get 18, subtract two, attach a zero. 20 divided by three is six also. Multiply, it will keep repeating. At this point, you can see the division problem will never end and the six will keep, will be keep repeating, of course. So I will just keep it uh, as is. Five two third is equal to 5.6. I can put a line on top of the six and this line tells me that the six is repeating. Let's practice. Time to show your stuff. Changing the following fractions into decimals. Pause the video, copy them to your copybook, and start solving. After that, you can check your answers from the answer key. The line on the top represents a repeating number if the uh, number didn't end. This is part two of our uh, video. I am going to start with it in the next video. Thank you for watching and wait for the next video. Thank you.